In this video, I'm going to show you how to make suggested changes and insert comments into a Google Doc. So here I'm looking at three sentences that one of my students have written, and I want to insert two suggested changes as well as insert a comment. So the first thing you need to know is that there are different modes of a Google Doc. So over here on the right, this darkened pencil, if you click on it, it drops down a menu and shows you the different modes to be in when you're in a document. There is editing mode, which is the one you're in by default, the one that we've been in as we work through the different stages of, of this course. There's the suggesting mode, so where you're going to be suggesting edits, and then there's the viewing mode, where you can no longer make edits or suggestions, you're just viewing what will be the final form of the document. So for these three sentences, I want to make some suggested changes. So I'm going to toggle over here to suggesting mode, and you'll see that it turns green, making it easy for you to know that, hey, you're not in editing mode, you're in suggestion mode. You highlight the place that you want to make the suggested change, just as you would in another editor where you're doing redlining. So I'm going to highlight a lot and suggest that they type in a lot. So notice over here then you see a little dialog box with me and it says replace a lot with a space lot. And now I can go down to the next one. I highlight it and simply start typing the suggested change. And the same thing, a dialog box, it has my image with the suggestion that I'm making. Now, I could come in as the student or whomever I'm sharing the document with and actually accept or deny the changes or add a comment back. So for the first one, I could say, but I always use this. And it's replying. So if it was a different person, you'd see a different character here. Or I can simply just click the checkbox and it accepts that change. Now for inserting comments, you can highlight, first let's switch back over to the editing mode. We can delete some of these. You highlight where you want the comment to go. So it says there are 250 million people living in the United States. We know that's wrong. We know there's many more than that. So you can highlight whatever you want to insert a comment to and click insert comment. And now you can say something like, be sure to check all your facts. And now it is a comment. And so once the student has gone and seen how many people there actually are living in there, they can click the resolve button. So they may go, okay, well, I'm going to go to tools, pull up this research tool, go to the web and say United States population. And it's going to give me a number, hopefully. It says that there are, according to the sentence, we're gonna pull up this document really quick. It'll probably say that there's, you know, 330 million, 318 million. So we can go back now and change it to 318 and close the research tool and click resolve. So that's how you both suggest changes and how you insert comments. You're then ready to view the final form of the document and you can print it out.